I walk into my World Religions class today, and uh, if that sounds kind of like a very difficult slash boring course, yeah, it kind of is. But anyway, um, I walk in there today, and my professor, who, uh, he, uh, older guy, and he, he pulls up YouTube on the computer on the projector screen, and he, and he types in Doctor Who. And I'm looking at that, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly intrigued up to where this is going. And uh, then he types in Doctor Who TARDIS. And uh, eventually he pulls up the scene where the Doctor is uh, revealing his new TARDIS to Clara in the, in the Christmas special. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Why is, why is he showing this? And I'm, I'm thinking, like, is this some weird, like, if, if, if he can find some way to tie this in today's lesson... I am instantly sold. I don't care about I don't care about the exams. If you're gonna find some way to fit Doctor Who into teaching us a class, then my god, dude, more power to you, right? Well, you know, he he, he basically announces to everybody, he's like, he's like, if anyone's ever seen Doctor like has not seen Doctor Who, pick it up, it's a good show. And I'm like, I was the only person in the class that's even heard of it. So me and him just start having like this conversation about like you know, like, 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 what do we, like, who our favorite doctor was? Like, he liked Matt Smith, which, which caught me a little bit by surprise because he was an older guy. So I'm thinking, like, he started watching it when it was like in the classic series or something, but no, he didn't. So you know, he liked Matt Smith. I told him I'm a fan of Tenant. I mean, I started watching the first series I saw all the way through was Matt Smith, and honestly, for a while there, I did refer to myself as like a Matt Smith fan. But after I, after season five fizzled out, and after season six started, like Matt Smith was. He's okay. He just, he just kind of like seems like I, I know. Okay, I, I know I'm gonna get mail for this. Like if, if like if I ever get, if I'm getting into the topic with Doctor Who and I'm talking about my favorite Doctor, I know I'm gonna insult somebody along the line. So I'm apologizing right now. I don't mean toward it. I know that you could probably whatever negative thing I say about Matt Smith, you can probably retort with like a one-page essay of why I'm wrong. But this is just me, okay? Um, after season five, which was pretty good, uh, season six and everything, it just with with the whole he just seemed to be like re like repeating himself. Like with Tennant, Tennant had a wide array of emotions. Matt Smith just kind of seems like to have two. He seems to like he's like he's very happy and cheerful, and his other one is like being very angry or not even really angry. That's the thing. He doesn't really get angry. I mean, he just kind of raises his voice. There's really nothing behind it. Um, so I'm not. I'm, I I started. I know that's when I started watching more of Tennant's uh, work as the Doctor. I really started to identify with Tennant. But he was a fan of Smith. I was a fan of Tennant. So whatever. He also liked Christopher Eccleston, which I'm okay with Christopher Eccleston. I did not like him at first, but after rewatching a lot of his series, um, a lot of his episodes, I, I really I'm starting to really like Christopher Eccleston. Except for Aliens of London. I I, I hate that. I hate that two-parter. Aliens of London and World War Three. I can never watch those. Those are just terrible for me for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, so that was an interesting day, and the funny thing was, he just wanted to watch that episode, that scene, because I think somebody showed him the scene earlier, and he, he didn't watch it the whole way through, so he didn't really find a way to tie that into the lesson, which I'm like, dude, you should have. You should have figured out a way to tie that into world religions. You could have found a way. Doctor Who, you could, you could fit that into anything. Like, you could fit it into math, science, history, religion. You could fit that into any school subject. That's what they need to do. They need to start teaching Doctor Who in our, Doctor, Doctor Who, Doctor Who in our public schools. Okay, and if it's like English, like if it's like American, you need to teach these kids about this show early on, okay? Because then you'll end up like me, where I, when I first started trying to watch Doctor Who when I was like like a couple years ago, I was like, oh, I mean, this seems like a cool show, but I don't know where to start. There's like 700 plus episodes. Where the hell do I start? And if it wasn't for, you know, Random Girl from my high school, then I would never have even, you know, n known about it. And now I'm freaking obsessive over it, so I'm not obsessive. I say I'm not obsessive as I, as I have a sonic screwdriver. And I actually have two. Yeah. This one I haven't shown off in my videos very much. I might show this off in a later video. But, uh, this is River Songs. Which I think it's it's more elaborate, but at the same time it's kind of more clumsy. But, um, like, if you, you can change the light. And if you hold this in, you can activate, like, the normal relay thing. So it's pretty cool. I might show that off in a later video. But anyway, uh, another thing that happened to me interesting today... Uh, was I went to uh, my biology class today, and for those of you who aren't aware, which sh which should be all of you, if any of you are aware of this, then 
I think I might have to file a restraining order. But uh, now I, I went to my biology class, which is um, at a different campus. I have all my classes at one campus, but this one class, this my my biology lab, I have to go to this other campus to have it because they actually have a bigger facility. So I drive like 20 minutes to this facility to go to the, my lab. But after I'm done, I decide, well, I drove like 20 minutes. I might as well, you know, enjoy myself. And there's a mall very close to there, so I went into the mall and. You know, I haven't been in the mall in a while, and uh, I was in there, and I felt really, like, I was in there by myself. Like, every time I go to the mall, I'm all, I always go with my friends, or I always go with somebody. And this is the first, like, one of the few times I actually go to the mall by myself. And at first I'm thinking, like, it's kind of, like, you know, lonelier, but I actually enjoyed it. Like, I, I just enjoyed it, because, like, when I go with my friends, they're like, oh, now we're going to go look at this now, we're going to go look at this now, we're going to go listen, oh, now we're going to leave, you know, like, 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 they, like, you can do whatever you want, but at the same time, you kind of have to, like, you know, tie it down. Like, I go to the mine by myself, I'm just like, whatever, so, like, I want some pretzels, I'm going to buy me some pretzels. If I want some water, I'm going to buy some water. And I just, like, sat on a bench and I ate my pretzels and I'm drinking my water, and I'm like, you know what? This is pretty nice, I'm liking this. And I came to a, I kind of came to an epiphany here where it's, it's very odd because... Ever since, like, as long as I can remember, I've always been so judgmental about whatever people think about me. And, and when, I, when I say that, I don't mean, like, the way I act, because like, I've always been this weird, okay? I don't, I don't care about that. I care about people that are complete strangers. And, like, if I was ever in a public area, I was always very careful. Like, it's like, I have to be careful to try to act normal, because if I do anything out of the ordinary, then they're going to look at me and they're going to think I'm weird. You know, like today, today at the mall, I'm, I, I bought I bought a thing of pretzels and I bought some water and I saw an empty bench and I didn't go on the empty bench. I, I, I walked past it at first and that, that was still part of my mind telling me that like, hey, if you sit down and eat, then everyone's going to think you're alone or you're, you're, you're lonely or you're weird because you have nobody sitting next to you. You don't have a girlfriend. You're so alienated from everybody else. And then after I walked, like a couple of, like after I walked away for a couple seconds, I'm like, who gives a fuck, right? So I'm like, I turned back around, sat down at the bench, and I was munching on my pretzels and drinking my water. And I had a damn good time drinking the water and jumping on my, uh, munching on my pretzels, you know? Those are good pretzels, by the way. If you ever go to, I don't know if you have them where you live, they're Auntie Anne's pretzels. They, they make those pretzels, the gods themselves craft them in, in their pastry oven because that, those pretzels are freaking fantastic. Um, fantastic. <laughs> um... But yeah, they're just amazing. So if you, if you don't live in that area where, like, Auntie Anne's Pretzels, look that shit up, find one near you, and go and buy them, because they're delicious. They're like, like, I don't know, like 60% bread, like 40, no, like 60% butter and 40% bread, but some combination. They're very buttery, but they're very delicious. Um, so yeah, uh, but that, that just, that's just a funny thing about me, that I don't know, I really don't know when I overcame that. I want to say, it's, it's YouTube's probably helped me a lot with that, because... I was always so afraid of asking for stuff or, you know, looking around, like, like, like just doing anything out of the norm. Like, if I was in a crowd of people, I tried so hard just to mimic that crowd. And now that, I don't know, maybe it's because it's YouTube, maybe it's because I'm used to voicing my opinion, maybe it's just because I have a job now and I'm, I'm, I'm getting more social. Because in high school, that was my life was high school. And maybe that has something to do with it, because in high school... You really have to watch yourself, how you act and how you do things, because in high school, if... You know, you mess up. If you do something that embarrasses yourself, you're stuck with that. You see these people every day. People are going to are gonna find out, and people are going to remember it, and people are going to chastise you daily if it was something bad enough, you know? Like, it, like if you fall down in the food, like, for example, if, if I was at the mall today, and I ordered, like, a plate of food, and, and I fell down, and, like, the food got all over my face, people are probably going to look at me, people are probably going to laugh, right? Well, who cares? Because I'm not going to see these people ever again. They're just in public. I mean, it would be a very embarrassing, but, you know, I'm never going to see these people ever again. Happens in high school, completely different story. You know, you drop and you get food all over yourself, you're going to be laughed at for the next day and the next day and the next day. And you know, maybe not laughed at, but like chastised. Like, hey, remember that time you fell on your freaking face? You know? That's the difference with high school. And that was really my only life because I didn't have a car. I didn't go anywhere. It was pretty much just high school and home. And at home, I was actually pretty damn secluded. So uh, when it came to, you know, that, I, I think that's I think that really contributed to the reason why I was so uh, very afraid of acting at like anything out the, out of the norm in public. But uh, I'm really I, I just want to get over that really. Uh, but oh, what else I got at the mall was um, FMA, uh, Full Metal Alchemist volumes four, five, and six, Omnibus. So yeah, I uh, I already read one, two, and three, which uh, yeah, I had to go back and get this. Well. I'm excited. I really am. I'm, I'm trying to read the whole series. Um, the, the only the um the three volumes. They only go up to nine though. So there's only one more of these, and I have to start buying the volumes. Uh, 
I have to start buying the volumes separately. But the thing I don't get is that in America, like I'll show you, hold on right here. I'll use an example with Fairy Tale. It's Fairy Tale the same way? Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if for those of you not familiar with American prices for manga, uh, this manga book is like a single, single one, single volume. That is about ten or eleven dollars. This one's eleven. I think they're usually about ten. Fairy Tale is just extra for some reason. So about ten bucks for just one volume, right? This is three volumes. So logically, you would deduce that this is at least thirty dollars, or around the ballpark of thirty dollars. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. That's like. That's, that doesn't make any sense, right? That, you know, like, why would I even bother buying one volume for ten bucks when I can get three for just five extra dollars? That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the fact. But they only go up to volume nine on this, so I can get one more of these, and I have to start buying the volumes separately. But I'm, I'm going to try to rethink the whole Full Metal Alchemist series um, through the manga, because uh, I really like the original anime, and everyone was telling me, don't watch the original anime. It's nothing but filler, it's crap, it's garbage. And I never really understood that until I started reading the manga. After I started reading the manga, yeah, you're right. The, the first edition anime, that's all over the freaking place. Like, it's everywhere. With Like, it's screwing with the flashbacks, and it's, it's mixing filler with canon, and it's just, it's not mixing well. And it's just... I understand completely now. I haven't seen Brotherhood, but I, I, I tell you, if I after I finish reading the manga, I'm watching Brotherhood because, yeah, the anime is it, it follows the same path, but it's completely like it, it shuffles things around so much. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see where it's going from now. I mean, not to say it's completely bad. I mean, I'm not going to say it's like I, I I still you know like the, some some parts of the original anime. But, uh, yeah, in terms of just mixing stuff around, they, they added a bunch of crap that they really didn't need to. Some of it's just like, why did they even need to add that? Other than, other than like, introducing characters early on. But you don't need to do that. You know, you don't need to introduce, you know, these characters in episode two or three. Wait until episode six or seven when they're supposed to be. It's not like they're going to be huge. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, that's random vlog number two on my backup, ch on my uh, vlog channel. Uh, like I said... This is just me talking about my life. So if, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing, I mean, maybe my exploits are more interesting than others for some reason. I don't know why they would be. But, um, you know, I've been told I'm very eccentric. I'm a very odd or weird individual. So maybe, maybe me telling stuff that seems fairly odd, normal to me, will be very interesting to you. If not, you know, you're, well, you're still watching this, so clearly they did. So I, I'm, I'm glad I could enlighten you. All right, I'm going to go back to reading this because it's pretty damn good. See you guys.